So um, I'm starting to paint this. All I'm doing is a back and forth motion with it. Um, beware if you're using a ceiling tile that it does suck up the paint like really quickly. So it dries really fast. <clears throat> I'm going to do a maximum of uh, three coats. <clears throat> Sorry. But other than that, I would do as many coats of paint as you want. Uh, you don't have to cover up all the holes that are on the tack board. Like you see all these holes over here. Like down here. All these holes right here. If you take some paint in your brush, like get the bottom full of paint, and then you just dab it on there in the holes and spread it around, it covers up the holes. Uh, I find it pretty cool to have the holes out so I'm not covering up my holes. Uh, come on, we'll go. I'll show you what the finished product's gonna look like. Uh, these aren't gonna be pink, uh, these are black ones. But they end up looking like this when you're done painting it on. I know mine saw the white holes in it. And you might need to go through and repaint it once they're done drying. But after we're done, I'm going to be putting um, a stencil. I have a stencil in here. Um, I also bought a stencil. And I'm going to be painting stencil designs on here uh, with a different color. And I'm going to be tacking a pink boa around it. So um, I'll make another video about that, but so far we're just working on, you know, painting it. So um, this is what I have so far of the pink one. And halfway full. Halfway full. Oh yeah, that's my Time. brother, Grady. In case y'all are wondering. The director. Yeah, I told him that if he'll be my director, <laughs> he can paint. So, um, yeah. So my tiles are going to be... Uh, pink and black and I'm going to have blue flowers on them and Grady can you hand me the paint uh -oh. be sure when you're doing this project that you have a uh, plenty of room be sure that when you have do this project you have a lot of time on your hand mm -hmm. because this is time consuming and be sure you wear clothes that you can get messy in because this gets messy. Normally I leave with paint all over my hands and in my hair. So I somewhat put my hair up. Uh, good. It's good for now. Uh, be sure if you're buying these little paint bottles like this. Be sure you get quite a few of them because um, I'm almost through with this bottle and I've only got this much done. Um, I'm going to put like a couple layers on it. A couple extra layers. And yeah. So um... I'm going to go ahead and paint this. Um, our summer shorts, I'm working on a script right now. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go film those. And um, I'm really excited about it. I hope you all are having a great summer because I know I am. And uh, normally over the summer is when I do all my crafts. Uh, I get really crafty in the summer. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. <laughs> great, even though I drag them into a lot of my craft stuff. It's kind of fun. Some of them are kind of fun. But uh, feel free to stop this video anytime. I know it's just normally me just blabbering on. But if you want to stop it, you can. Uh, I'm going to be listing the steps in the description box. I'm going to list all your tools. Well, not tools, but all your supplies that you're going to need. And um, so, ooh, that came on the table. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, be sure that you take this and you coat it, like, more than once. And uh, when you're done with it, you can add any accessories. You can put, like... A huge letter in it or you know anything that it's you find that's you like I'm probably gonna put a big H in it since my name is Hannah oh I'm gonna have a hot or on this one I have a black boa around it that's what I make it all sassy and prissy and here's paint yeah but I'm using a hot pink paint and for my flowers that I'm gonna be doing uh, it's called uh, island blue and it's the acrylic craft paint. So I'm going to be doing that. But uh, make sure that when you are doing this that you want to put a couple layers on your paint. Because it... <laughs> My gosh. <laughs> because, um, yeah. Look how much paint that is. Well, it absorbs a lot of paint. So, yeah. So once you're done painting it all, I would just go back through and give it another coat. I can give as many coats as you want or as you feel like needed. Uh, again, I normally do a maximum of three coats. And so I'm going to have a part two to this video. Um, and it's going to be over like decorating it, how to put it on your wall, how to tack it up on your wall. 
And yeah, so um, I probably won't get that till Friday because I only had a certain amount of money. Well, I only brought you know, a couple, like I think I brought 20 bucks. And the boas were like 10 bucks a piece, so I didn't get the boas. And I don't think they were long enough. Yeah, and they weren't long enough, so I'd have to buy like, for one boa, to, I'd have to buy like two two-foot boas to cover this. And that would have been like a total of 20 bucks. So I just went ahead and I And them. they were two yards long? Yeah, they were just two yards long. And this is way bigger than two yards. So I was going to need more than just two boas. Um, I have four tiles all together. So I'm probably going to need like about uh, eight boas. And I just didn't feel like spending, let's see, 40 bucks. No, probably 80 bucks on boas. So I just went ahead and bought the paint and a stencil design. So um, I'm getting the boas Friday. So um, I'll make another video Friday about this, but yeah, so right now, um, this is looking to be pretty much almost done. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get one of my black ones out right here while this one's drying, which I don't know why I let that dry, but let's put the paint right here. Yeah, be sure you have a lot of space to do this because I still don't have a lot of space. We got to move some stuff. Our fruit bowl, full of fruit. Full of fruit. So I'm gonna get my black one. And since it's already dry, <laughs> we're gonna break in something. So uh, I have this, which I need to repaint it. But I'll do that once I get done with the flowers. I have my blue paint and my stencil design. If you um, saw a finger, that was mine on an accident. <laughs> Before you um, you know, paint this on because I know you know paint's gonna be permanent. Uh, you can always repaint it. Uh, you sort of want to lay it out and see how it's gonna look. Let me get another bowl real quick. And um, I'm using sponge brushes, but y'all can use any kind of brushes y'all want. I mean, I just like sponge brushes. You need the brush pretty big if you want to finish it in a day's work. In <laughs> a day's work, yes, skirty, of course. If you use like a tiny one, like that one, you probably won't get a finish. So, um. It'll probably take a week or two. <laughs> probably gonna do it like this. Be sure you lay it out though when you're doing it. And uh, I wouldn't really move it, you're just gonna dab onto it. You paint over the stencil. And these, you would want to fill up the holes. I'm going to fill up the holes on these because um, I really want, you know, no holes to show on the flowers. Uh, but this one's going to need a couple of coatings on here to block out the other paint behind it. And uh, just a little warning that you... Again, will get messy during this whole process. Uh, you can probably find this idea. Uh, my mom told me about this idea. But you can probably find it on Pinterest. Oh, shoot. And uh, be sure you um, make sure your stencil isn't <laughs> sort of broken. Because mine's sort of like lopsided. And be sure you keep it really, really still. You need to put a napkin or something on the yeah. side of that. Go give me some tape. Okay. Go venture for some tape grading. Yeah, I'm adventuring for tape. Let's see if I can find some. What kind of tape? Like duct tape? A masking tape. Or Ma just regular tape. Like duct Scotch tape? tape? Scotch tape. Scotch tape. Like that clear tape? Yeah, clear tape. Okay, now let's go adventure! Dun dun dun. So, uh, as soon as I can turn the light on. So, right here, we just got some scotch tape. We, I'm just getting this scotch tape. And I might come back for more. We don't have any more, but I guess I can do that. Oh, it says scotch. I know it says scotch, but I'm talking about the small tape that you use for taping your stuff on your scrapbook. That's what she thinks about Hannah. She's no fun. She's no fun. Okay. Harsh little one. 
Okay, now let's see if we can find some tape. If I can grab this. I'm not seeing the tape. Hannah, does it care if it's in the dispenser? I don't care. Okay. So, we're just going to use this pack of tape. And if I find the other one, I will tell her. There's a tape. We're just using whatever that says. Just regular, normal size scotch tape. I'm taping my stencil down because I don't want to move it because I want to leave it out to dry. So I don't want it to move at all. And a little warning that if you tape it down, it might rip off your paint. Hey, G, can you get me some scissors? I get scissors. As soon as I find them, I will get them. Never mind. I know where they are. This is our room, my room. That's my brother's side. This is my side. Uh. So, we got some cute reindeer scissors. We got a thread nose reindeer. And that's Santa Claus and his little reindeer. Santa Claus and thread nose reindeer. With some antlers. And I give it to him. Okay. So, yeah, um, I'm just sort of like spongy. What'd you do? Get some on your face? What are you even talking about? You got some, there's some on your face. I just scratched my face. Uh, yeah, so be sure you have, you don't have paint on your hand when you scratch your face. Uh, so here, come get an aerial view of this, Grady. So what I'm doing, I'm just sponging this in. You can still see the black in it. I'm going to try to do a layer, like a thick, thick, thick layer to where you can't see the black. And I'm also uh, dabbing in the dots. Uh, you, you see right here where my thingy got lifted up. Um, when I get done with it, I'm going to have to like, bend it back down into place. Uh, you do not want that to happen at all. And um, so, yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to leave y'all. Uh, I'll list all the steps and stuff in the description box. Um, so, yeah. Rate, comment, subscribe. Tell me if you have ever made a craft like this. Uh, tell me if you think this is a good idea to do for like a gift for a friend or it's a good gift for Mother's Day. So, uh, yeah, uh, that was my brother Grady, if y'all didn't know. He's a bundle of joy. Um, he was <laughs> my uh, director, I guess, for this shoot. Uh, again, we're working on summer shorts. We're hoping for that to come up. And yeah, so be sure uh, to get all your stuff at your local craft stores. Uh, I got mine at Hobby Lobby again. Like I just said, I uh, got mine at Hobby Lobby. Uh, you can paint yours any color. It doesn't have to be blue or purple. Um, you can do anything you want. Like on the stencils, you can do, uh, like if it's for a baby girl's room, you can do like a little zebra on there. Get like little zebra stencils and stuff. I was going to do a zebra stencil. I was going to get a stencil of a zebra, or a zebra print, and do it, but I decided not to do it. Um, and be sure that when you get your tiles that they're going to fit on your wall. I know I have a huge, huge wall that's not filled in my room, and it's looking really tacky, so that's why I have this. We'll show you that later. Yeah, we'll show you that when I'm, uh, my second video. But, um, uh, what was I about to say? Yeah, but uh, in step two, I might even make a third video about this. Um, I'm going to um, hang them up and show you how to hang them up. Uh, uh, we're still experimenting with all this, still, with us. Um, I'm just really bored again, so um, I'm trying any new kind of crafts I can come up with. And, yeah, so have fun, so, like, have fun, you know, try to give me new ideas to put on this because, um... I really want to, you know, decorate my room and make it look really good. So, uh, yeah, this is the tack board so far. Uh, my pink one. I'm about to get ready to go paint that. Repaint it. So, I guess I'm going to leave y'all. Again, rate, comment, subscribe. I uh, hope you have a great summer, and I hope you get crafty. Okay, well, bye. Um, this is the paint that we use for the pink one. Turn off, right?